right now we are on our way to eat dinner at one of our favorite restaurants here. Um, that is where we're going, right? Indian Creek. Indian Creek. Um, so if you ever are in this area and are on like Douglas and Dandridge, then check them out because they've got really good food. Friday nights they have all you can eat catfish. Saturdays they have, I think, all you can eat barbecue. I don't know. But Might not be all you can eat. I don't know. We'll look at that. We'll check that out. Um, but then today we've mostly just had a lazy day and well, not real lazy. I've been editing videos and Mikey helped get the island out of the lake with my dad and my stepmom. That was a task. It's huge. And Mikey had a long nap. Mm -hmm. So I guess it was a, la a lazy day for you. Um, and then. Sorry. Okay, so since Mikey insists the camera be on me too. Um, <laughs> we are going to eat and then we're going to look at campsites around Lake Douglas and feature some of those. So, ready? Here we go. Anything you want to say? Nope. Here we go. More like, so that area right there and this right here. When the lake is down, there are four-wheel trails that people will bring their four-wheelers out here and they go four-wheeling. And then they 
also have a boat ramp that you can put in a dock. There's the dock down there. Put a boat ramp where you can get your boats in. Sea dues, whatever. already starting to go down so bummer but yeah apparently they have boat storage possibly here <laughs> maybe more of the lake going down there some cars parked down there where they must have put their boats in So there's a marina here, lake suites, RV park, and restaurant. We've ate at this restaurant before and it was really good. It's a little bit pricey. Yeah, and our waitress that night. I think she's preoccupied with a young fella. Yes, but that's been several years ago, so maybe they've gotten better service. So here is the campground right on the lake. Like some of these might be permanent spots too. There's one for sale. Which one is it? Oh. Travel trailers for sale. Yeah, these they have patio concrete patios. Some are in the middle. They got a 
Let's see the spot. light. And in there. They also have a place to put in your boat and a dock. There's the lake. And the sun again. Sorry? Is it in the sun again? Right in the windshield. There's the restaurant that we were talking about right there. There's a pad that's open. Yeah, there's several spots in here. Um, yeah, but you're not actually setting up, it don't look like you're actually setting up on the concrete pad. Looks like you're setting up on crushed gravel, but you've got a concrete pad for your uh, patio. Now we're going to try to get a video of the bridge here. So like I said in another video, a lot of the bridges here are very narrow, extremely. My dad's actually had a truck hit his mirror and knocked the mirror into the, win the driver's window and busted the window. That's how close it was. So. But if you can see all this construction on the left. I want to bring our mirrors in. Yeah, my, we usually bring our mirrors in when we cross this bridge, especially if there's cars coming. But they're building a whole new complete bridge right here on the left. They've been working on that a couple of years now. You can see with this car coming, it's pretty, pretty close. I'm gonna show, it's, it's a pretty high bridge. You can't really tell how high. But once you get into this part, it's super narrow. We're actually, here comes a car. We're actually, let me see. Look, he's got his mirror in. Yep. <laughs> this new bridge is going to be a little higher. Yeah, people that cross this bridge quite a bit know to bring your mirrors in. So if you come across this bridge, you might want to bring your mirrors in. Make sure nothing's coming toward you. If you're driving a RV or pulling. And people are pretty friendly to stop. Which one? If you're coming across. So this is the big, um, straight I guess. This is the big town of Dandridge. Um, not very big. It's pretty small. Pretty quiet. You can like right come around. Okay. And we used to have a favorite restaurant here, but they closed. I said right come around. We're not too far from 40. come here on 4th of July and watch fireworks. They have them over the lake. It's free. You gotta get here early so you can park. Can we go up that way? Yeah. yeah, where we go for fireworks. I really like that big house. It's for sale, but you know what? That's what we're trying to get rid of. It's a house. So... Cars and then people sit along the banks. 
chairs out here. And it's pretty cool. Some people sit on the rocks, which I don't know how they do it. And then there's a big grassy area down there, and then they shoot them off right over there. And over the lake, it's just really pretty. But that's a free, free entertainment if you're ever in this area on the 4th of July. The, uh, the boat ramp you see over there on the far side is uh, over here by the campground and the restaurant. Yeah, that's where we just came from. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right, there's the campground. There's the boat ramp. There's the bridge we just came over. That right there, on, on the bank that you see, you can see where all the wood nets at. That's how much they've let the, the water down so far this year. They bring it up about May and they start taking it down after the 4th of July. Yeah, Which kind of stinks because summer don't end is not officially over until uh, Labor Day. They're on the process of draining it down now. There is a building. It's one of these buildings right here on the left. I think it might be this little one here. They say one of these is haunted. Well, the restaurant we used to go into supposedly is haunted. Is it? And well, they do a ghost tour here. There's a company yeah, that yeah, does yeah. a ghost tour. We've never done it, but we have been in the restaurant and people right there on the corner. What was it? Was it a hotel or something? I forget what yeah. the story was. But this one right here, they we've had employees that worked in there tell us that things, strange things happen in there, but they closed the restaurant. Well. I think it's a different restaurant now, but we've never been there to the new one. But go ahead, sorry. Something about being haunted. I don't remember the story. Yeah, but there's a ghost tour if you're into things like that. There's antiques if you like antiques. Cute little place. Like the old houses in here. Goes for sale. Maybe they have it for sale because they're gonna buy a camper and go full time, you think? That would be nice. <laughs>
is the name of it. They have been four seasons. This is their fourth season. Yep. But yeah, we're going to do a two-part video just so that we can feature them. We got to talk to one of the owners. Um, and we got to talk to Shannon Dixon. We got some, we're going to link some information for that campground. They are booked a year in advance. Um, I think, yeah. Well, they take bookings two years out. See, they said yeah. next year for the 4th and Memorial Day, they're already booked up, booked solid. But that place is awesome. It's, oh my gosh. They do work camp, so yeah. that's promising. Um, I wouldn't mind work camping there when we get full time. Yep. Um, at some point when we get on the road. Um, they actually have a lady that works there that is from Arizona and has work camped all over the United States and she's there right now but um I think the only downside that I saw was they closed from December to January mm. um, January December first week of December to no March yeah oh, sorry <laughs> first December, week of December 1st to the first week of March right but um I guess winter is not that busy for them so yeah they're they do uh they add a, um, I don't think they're going to add any more sites, but they're going to add uh, things for people to do. Yeah. I mean, they've even got a uh, pontoon boat rentals. I mean, that, that just, that's oh, pretty and, neat. Um, they got golf cart rentals and what was uh, paddleboard rentals. Paddleboard rentals, yeah, yeah, I was trying to think paddleboard rentals. They got a swimming pool and yeah, it's about a, it's about a yeah, about a 10 minute drive from a uh, little town of Dandridge. Yeah, it's really cool. But so, look for that too, that second part video. It was a long day again today, a lot of driving and out and about. So, but another enjoyable day. Right. Got to meet some more new, uh, some new and some new people and very friendly people. Um, one place you want to be at that resort is. Uh, up on the hill, that's what a guy said. And we went up on the hill first thing, and it was an awesome view. But uh, we're going to call it tonight so we can get some shut eye. Right. we got a big day tomorrow. Yep. So. What are we going to do tomorrow? We're going to go see the eclipse. And right. Make history. Yes. That was pretty. Looking forward to that. Yeah. So don't forget to thumbs up, like, Share. Subscribe. And comment if you're nice. All right. See y'all. Bye.